Here we are. We are safe within these walls. So this is Lethos Castle. It's beautiful. I'm glad you think so. Though you may not remember this place, I've long waited to welcome you back here. Welcome home. <sighs> I'm home? Yes, you are. <sighs> I feel overwhelmed with joy. I may cry. Queen Lumera. Vander. Clan. Frem. Thank you for all you've done. You are worthy stewards indeed. You and your predecessors. Watching over my child all these years. I am ever so grateful. You are too kind. Yeah, it's awful nice of you to say that. I'm starting to feel woozy. Oh yeah, go us! We just got praised by Queen Lumera herself! The happiness of this moment aside, I am troubled to see the corrupted here in Lethos. The corrupted? Those enemies you were fighting out on the grasslands. Oh, I didn't like those things one bit. Just the sight of them made my blood run cold. They also remind me of a certain other enemy unit I just cannot for the life remember me. It's very odd. Feels like it might have been... Uh... Three games ago? Uh, again, it's hard to tell my memory's hazy. Understandably so. The corrupted are corpses revived by an evil power. The Fell Dragon used them as his soldiers in the war. Before the start of that bitter conflict, Elios had known peace for eons. But then, a dark presence emerged. Sombron. Despite tireless searching, we could not determine where he'd come from. But seeing the destruction he wrought, there was no doubt of his evil intentions. Now the Corrupted are spreading once more. This may be a sign of his return. No. I wonder if it is mere coincidence that you awakened as all this unfolds. Okay, I, this is now starting to bug me. That gold thing, like, a while back, it's clipping through that one piece of clothing. And it's really bothering me. It legitimately frustrates me how much that is facing literally, literally right through that closing of this. I am sorry, I had to stop the important plot just to make sure I pointed out in particular. It's not much, but... I would also say the same about here, but at this point we'll be here already. If the Fell Dragon has been released, then we must prepare for battle. I can't imagine fighting someone like that. Worry not. I doubt he will attack anytime soon. This castle is filled with the spirits of divine dragons. The corrupted cannot enter it easily. Let us devise a plan now, while we have the opportunity. Emblem Marth. It's been quite some time, Lumera. That it has. Thank you for lending your aid against the corrupted. You're welcome. But of course, I could help only because your child remembered me. You know. It is possible the others are awake now, just as I am. Perhaps you are right. Sorry, but what do you mean? Who's awake? There is something I should show you. Follow me. What is this place? This is the Ring Vault. It is where the emblem rings are enshrined. I want you to keep a very close eye on those statues because, uh... There might be some familiar figures amongst them. Those of the Holy Knight, of the Sage Lord, and of the Azure Twins rest here. As well as the Ring of the Princess Exalt. And finally, the Ring of the Instructor. Each dwells within an emblem ring as Marth resides in the Ring of the Hero King. So, counting Marth, there are six emblem rings. Wow. In fact, there are twelve. Six here, and six entrusted to the other countries. As a precautionary measure. What do you mean? The emblems grant world-altering power to whoever has all twelve rings. For generations, the Divine Dragons used this power to ensure peace and prosperity in Elios. Indeed, that was how we locked away the Fell Dragon. 
But many have sought to steal the rings and use them for their own nefarious purposes. Which is why they're scattered all over the continent, not just stored here. Precisely. The rings offer their power but once every thousand years, at which time the Divine Dragon travels across Elios to collect them from each nation's ruler. With a thousand years having passed since last time, I was planning to carry out this ritual soon. But if the Fell Dragon is after the rings, the emblems may be summoned before I arrive. Summoned? It is how one calls for an emblem from a ring, just as you did earlier with Marth. Only those with royal dragon blood are capable of summoning. That includes you, my child. Oh, you must be talking about the phrase that popped into my head. An invocation, you mean? What was it? Shine on, emblem of beginnings. I wasn't even thinking about it. The words just fell from my mouth. That was how you summoned Marth. What was your focus, your intention, when you spoke those words? I wanted to help Clan and Fram. I didn't want to lose them. I wanted to protect them. Your focus was on helping others. Remember that intention whenever you summon emblems, not to keep the power for yourself. Understand? To borrow so you may protect others. I understand. Now. Why don't we try a practice battle? You must be a little rusty after all these years. You may have... Ignoring the tutorial battle, uh, we literally had one not too long ago. I'm pretty sure I know how to fight. How about we train here? You will be the one fighting. The emblem lends you their strength. You need to train your body and mind to unleash an emblem's full power. Vander, Clan, Frem, you will be aiding my child in this battle. Against me. Queen Lumera, even in a practice battle, I could not turn my weapon on you. Oh, Vander, please do put your heart into it. I know I will. This is all a training battle, mind you. Don't know why I have to go this far out to, uh, to put a heart into this battle. The Corrupted? No, dear. Not at all. How could you think so? I made these opponents from plants and rocks. Okay, so I can understand rocks because, you know, golems and lifelike stuff. But what the fuck do plants have to do with them? Nevertheless, their abilities are the same. Drop your guard, and you could be hurt. They're really unsettling. Can we train with something else? They give me the chills. Listen, you must push through your fear and face whatever opponent stands against you. Never run away. You are my child, the protector of all. The Divine Dragon. I understand. Don't worry, Divine One. We'll back you up every step of the way. Yeah! Or what Fram said. As loath as I am to battle against Queen Lumera, orders are orders. I pledge to bring us victory. Thank you, everyone. Now, let's begin. Queen Lumera! Be cautious, Divine One. Some of these enemies are carrying long-range weapons. Therefore, they can rain arrows upon us from afar. These are the bow units. A, a, a bow with two wings can tag enemies from two spaces away. You will have to keep th these ranges in mind, because these may vary from weapon to weapon. Weapons with a range of one cannot counter distant attacks. Weapons with a range of two cannot counter adjacent attacks. That is also a thing to keep in mind. Now, I could go into the co covert and backups, but it would really be helpful if we had allies like that. Unfortunately, we kind of don't. But, uh, I believe if I just...
Yeah, if I just hide out of the enemy, it will still have their range of movement. Right now, she's standing still, but uh, always keep an eye on the boss in any stage. Just saying, they really like to move. With one exception, as far as I'm aware. Uh, right now, let's just do our thing and. You know, him having a weapon will probably help. See this enemy with the axe. Axe wielders are at a disadvantage against swords. Swords are strong against axes. Axes against lances. And then lances against swords. If you outmatch your foe, you can break their fighting stance for an advantage in combat. Try it. Strike with your sword. After their stance is broken, they'll be open to further attack. Here is a new mechanic as well. Inflict a break stance on the enemy by landing an attack with a weapon that has the advantage. This game actually does focus on the weapon triangle a fucking lot more than three houses, and I am really thankful for that. Pokemon okay, cannot counter attack until the next combat. This is your chance to attack. The wall, as far as I know, one type of unit that cannot be affected by break. And we will get there when we get there. Swords have advantage over axes, axes over lances, and lances over swords. Arts have advantage over bows, tomes, and knives. While melee arts are effective against all of them. I really need to, to equip your axe again, good sir. Because uh, you never know, but I'm uh, not going to use it for now. Let's All do right. what is advised of us. Well done. You see, swords are strong against axes. Always keep such weapon advantages in mind. Enemies can't counterattack while recovering their stance. A good time to finish them off. Indeed it is. And we think we have some other units that can actually reach on time. Probably not from the other way around to actually counter the tally, but uh... We can always... Do a bit of magic. Hey, Divine One! I don't know if you knew this or not, but I can use magic. I'm good from near or far, even against well-protected enemies. Magic can attack both distant and adjacent enemies. Magic is also effective against enemies with high physical offense. What is depicted here is a normal unit. This is a unit to ignore terrain bonuses on two of foes avoid raid when attacking with magic. This unit can end attacks from a distance even when an enemy should be hard to hit. So if an enemy is in a thicket, like Numela did, you get the point. Uh, you would do a lot of damage though, but uh, you can also kill that. Um... I'm gonna be laying safe, just be safe. Uh, meanwhile, let's go over to you. <laughs> the divine one looked right at me. You know, I can do some mean healing with my staff. Not only that. I can take incoming hits for nearby allies, but it smarts when I do. Anyway, if you don't want to get hurt, or you need some patching up, just lean on me. Stats are all items which your units can help allies, which can help all enemies. However, only certain classes like Mortal Arts can use them. Here's now for example, swords and allies hit points. Thankfully, and I do mean thankfully, no weapon durability. These only apply to staffs, as far as I know. A key adept can use Chain Guard to protect the Jason Allies from attacks. Chain Guard the does not take damage. Instead, the, the key adept takes damage equal to 20% of the own max HP. Which would be very helpful. But I uh, do keep that in mind, because if a critical hit happens, that's a lot of damage. It, keep in mind, this ability is only available if the key adept's HP is full. So you cannot do it with low HP. Gotta be really mindful of that. Um... You called? Yeah. 
Yeah, as long as you do not get a crit, we should be fine, but I really doubt that 3% crit is gonna be anything but not used. Okay. That being said... Not really much to the do then. It should be fine. I do not trust Clam was not being hit, so... Really wish I could have just not had that axe hand, but uh... It is what it is. Uh, let's just do this. Sort of like that, maybe? And, uh, that movement just got increased from the mirror. Uh, so far as I know, she's about to attack. Even tired. So, uh, then stand back for now and use a phone Navy. It's a little much, but it's something. I'll uh, just have a clan right there, and I'm going to save my engage, just to be utterly safe. I won't forget you. It's time I enter the fray. There is no need to hold back, my child. All right. Now, I can just go ahead and use my engage and probably waste it. Or I could do a little bit of funny things with such the clan. I don't want to attack you. I feel busy. Sharpen your focus, clan. Lest you miss. A thing if I remember is that some units have unique dialogue against certain other enemy units. I probably won't be showing all of them because a video that already exists. I would link it, but it would contain spoilers, and uh, let's not do that in like the second episode of the Let's Play. Me? Okay. So now, let's talk of another way to get experience. For healers, that'd be healing an ally. <laughs> kind of you. And those little hearts that keep floating up. It's a sign of something. Again, in due time, we'll explain it. Uh, I don't want Fanta to get the kill. Like, he would do so much damage, sir. Uh. Let's just... Why not? I think it's gonna happen anyway, so don't mind me. I'm so sorry. Fantastic work! You fought together splendidly. Let's move on. Wait over there a moment. 
All right. If everyone is in position, we'll begin. This time, I will be more hands-on. I intend to fight as if in an actual battle. Furthermore, I'll be using this. Is that the Ring of the Holy Knight? Indeed it is. I'm inviting an old friend to join us. I am Sigurd. If you require strength and swiftness, I am all too happy to oblige. Emblem Sigurd. He looks like a strong opponent. Each emblem has their own abilities. When allied with them, you can call upon their unique powers and skills. Whatever Sigurd's power is, it won't be the same as Marth's. We'd better keep our eyes open. My rapier is effective against cavalry, like those enemies over there. Once we engage, you can use my weapon. Try it against that foe. Sometimes an emblem's energy lingers in space. Because, yes, if a distinct unit finishes their axe and all weights on the space containing emblem energy, to engage below will foe completely. So, just an on the off chance if you ever happen to waste that engage. And this time, uh, I've already explained the danger radius. You can press zero to change the danger radius of all your energy at once. Ah, uh, just come over here and uh, simply do your thing. So I think I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably do a little damage to that. If a crit does not happen, okay. You never know with the crit chance. They could, act, they could literally trigger at any freaking moment. And just like that, free experience. This time, victory was mine. Level up. If you're into type breaks to fall, you make the next attack to dam do 50% damage. Would be good to know. I also have an instance of an ants unit. Which, uh... We'll just kindly put everybody else over here in a moment, because uh, I do not trust going to the other side. Like one bit. They'll just make their way towards us. Do not trust much. Am I in the range? Yes, I am. I would also be in the range. Um. Don't mind me, I'm just hiding a ticket. And now we can do a thing. Uh, no, that's actually so off breaking a... an arrow, a, a, an archer unit. Because like I said, martial combat is effective against anything long-ranged. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and give it to this guy. Did you see that? And then we can... Not get rid of the guy, but uh, eh, whatever. You picked me! 
Ah, uh, go ahead. Is what I would freaking say if I ended in a miss. There we go. God damn it. I was hoping to get to give Fran anything there, but uh leave it up to the protagonist to actually get ahead and on the enemy. Uh I'm gonna have you hide in here. Aw, oh, you're not gonna move until I approach. That's the jerk strategy. Okay. Well, wait here, I guess. <laughs> As I slowly bring myself into enemy range. Your teamwork is inspiring. Now it's time for us to make our move. Okay, but why? Come, this is certainly more of a challenge. Your enemies will not hold back, and neither will I. That is why you must defeat me. What a delight it is to see you in battle after all these years. I probably should have engaged. <laughs> Ow, damn it. That was incredible. Lord Sigurd is remarkably swift. Perhaps we should be grateful this is a mock battle. Uh, fantastic. Um, the divine dragon looked at me. I demand healing. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, just do that. It'll be fine. Well, you can miss with that 87. Totally not annoyed in slightest. Ah, uh, okay. I'm just gonna do this. It is a few missed experience points that I would have wished to have, but, uh... And I'm taking risks. Lend me your strength. Oh, stall wash and equip the repeal. Yeah, I think we're done here. My prayers are with you. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, you've won. I'm proud to see you working together so well. Level 4. Practically... Well, almost to a certain max point. We'll talk more about that when we get to that point, but uh, for now, we're already MVP. Okay. For the third time in a while. Well fought, everyone. You bested Sigurd and me. That's quite the feat. There is much to improve upon, but this is a wonderful start. Great work. Thank you. I can't believe we had to fight against Queen Lumera. Yeah, well, I can't believe we won. If this was a classic, well, we would, we would have been screwed. Screwed from the beginning. No, maybe probably not because of plot armor, but you know, still. Though you have only just awoken, your power seems to be growing already, Divine One. I'd like for you to have this. This is the sword you were using, isn't it? Yes. An ancient blade that can be wielded only by Divine Dragons. How specific? It served me well for many years, but now it is yours. Consider it a prize for your victory today. Thank you. Someday, I'll prove that I'm worthy of this sword. I have no doubt. Please, take this as well. Is this 
Another emblem ring? No. It is purely ornamental. You see, before your slumber, I made you a promise. What was it? I said I'd give you a birthday present that suited you perfectly. I was working on it in private, but I was unable to finish it in time. That birthday has long since passed, but I would quite like to give you this gift now. I'm sorry. I can't accept. Why not? That ring fulfills a promise you made me, right? But I don't remember that promise. It'd feel wrong accepting it. Like I was taking a present meant for someone else. Please offer me this gift again once I've remembered everything. Everything, you say? <sighs> Did facing me in battle stir any recollections? It didn't. I'm sorry. You need not apologize. It doesn't matter what you can remember right now. I only hope that one day, you will think of me as your mother, as you did a thousand years ago. <sighs> Forgive me. I was so thrilled to spend time with you again. I suppose I got a little carried away, didn't I? Oh, no. It's all right. <laughs> I don't mean to put you on the spot. Perhaps we should call it a day, hmm? But let's agree to chat again in the morning. What do you say? Pinky promise? <laughs> All right. Level waste and obtained! As long as fight next to each other or hear each other, the gain support points and eventually unlock support conversation. You can view support conversations on the Somnio or board map to increase the support level between characters. Since we're stuck in the, tut in the tutorial, we cannot do this fight yet. Even with support levels, gain stat bonuses when standing adjacent to one another. So again, very important to actually help with friendship of allies and... You know, see the convers conversation dialogues. Again, I will not be going through all of them in this let's play because, again, that's like only so much I can do. But given other things, that is a possibility. Again, in due time. Please rest easy for today. We're chatting in the morning. Spectacular as ever. You fought magnificently. Going forward, I will continue al alongside you alongside you as your knight. Um, I was helpful, yeah, or at least a little. I'm going to be keep. I'm going to keep being helpful for you, Divine One. <laughs> Divine One, you look so amazing. I swear, I'm gonna get stronger too, especially for you. Do 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 the best. Uh, we have at least three signing spots and three animal spots. Got some babies. Got twenty iron ingots. But it could be helpful for something. Never know. And more berries. Uh, there's a cat. Not so why the cat in particular here was black. That's still not an ominous sign or anything. Another cat. And another cat. I'm surprised we've gotten three cats all three times in a row. I'm surprised. <laughs> but, um, off we go. <laughs> How wonderful to see my child awake at last. Now we'll never have to be apart. There is so much to catch up on, so much to see and do together. We can chat for hours, take long walks, share meals, and then... Mm. If my child's memories are truly lost, I wonder... <sighs> Emblem Sigurd. I am here. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. 
Today certainly was eventful. Queen Lumera seems so kind and caring. I'm sure she was a wonderful mother. If only I could remember those days. I must have felt so lucky to be her child.